first month of a child is in the hands of the government. It's happening in African countries. Some people, when they go in the hospital, when they are coming back, you wonder that they were on a, a balanced diet. But they are coming from a, patient, a, a bed. They were sick. That day, when it comes to Malawi, that is the day we will sit down. The day all minerals of Malawi will start to produce finished products, value-added products, and make sure that the money of that exploit will save and substitute taxpayers' money. Give Malawians holding not to pay tax because our stones are paying tax and they are bank they are bankrolling our activities of development. That is the day Move Shungamo and the Bantu Sanders Juma will sit down. I've answered at least. Now tell me if this is going to happen, we are going to stop. But all this cannot be exchanged with ministerial position. All this cannot be exchanged with a buns or a bun or a brochure or bread. It can't be. I want to declare here, some of us stand here for the better of the country and the future of the country. The next movie is talking about the death of a Zambian president who is remembered all over Africa and many nations have lowered their flag because of service to the world, to the continent, not greed. So some of us are standing here for that cause, not for ministerial position, not for money, not for bonds, but to make sure that we save. So that generations after us should say, they were founders, they were builders, they were architects, they are pioneers. I think I've answered your question, all of you that were critics. Movie number 13. Malawi, Zambia, and Africa are faced by a dark cloud with the passing of the founding father of Zambia, Dr. Kenneth Kaunda. On the other platform, in the Utopian Philosophy last Friday or last Saturday, we appealed to Malawi, Namibia, South Africa, Zimbabwe, Mozambique, and Angola to lower their flags almost 14 to 10 days or 7 to 10 days in appreciation in celebration, in memory of a legendary icon, a freedom fighter by excellence, Kenneth Count. We want to applaud President Jaguar for listening and granting seven-day mourning period for Malawians. Thank you, Mr. President. We want to thank South African government for listening to this appeal and granting 10 days of mourning period. Thank you, Mr. Malama Posa. Now, we were looking forward to Namibia. Mr. Gengo, what are you saying? Your freedom owes much to the Zambians, and in particular, this icon, Dr. Kenneth Count. Mozambique, you owe Zambia a lot. You need respect. Zimbabwe, we don't talk about you. That is your sister. That is your brother. We were all together in the Federation. You deserve to give a respect to this immortal son, or let me say mortal son, but that is immortal because Mr. Gaunda is not dead. He has just trans transited to the other world. Mugwa Chungam, as well as Bantu Sandra's Juma, on behalf of all Malawians, request the government of Tonse to organize a plane that will fly the president, the vice president, former president Bagim Luzi, former president Joyce Banda, former President Peter Mtalika, to go and attend the funeral in Osaka of this icon. Apart from being a liberation icon of Sadiq and Africa, Malawi plied herself to Africa and the world, telling everyone that this is our son, this is our father, this is our citizen. Malawi and Zambia are one country. We share everything. What divides us is the British border, but we are one. Therefore, we need to be together with them during this period. Besides, don't forget that when we were called by the very same death in Malawi in 2012 of Lady Bingham Talika, it was Zambia that gave us fuel 
to transport ourselves from one place to another. And by maybe, let me say, by uh, uh, unlucky, let me say so. The person who died was Lady Pingo Mtalika, and the president by then was Michael Sata. A person that President Bingo Mtalika arrested and deported in Malawi who is the very same person who gave us fuel. I want to talk to you leaders. When you are in that position, don't think that you stay there forever. Someone from opposition bench, someone from nowhere will come and be there. You should be very cautious. The day that this person is going to be there, where are you going to be? A lesson must be drawn by the late Bingo Mtalika and the late Michael Sad. We must learn lessons from this. Therefore, we appeal to all Malawi leaders to be in Lusaka and send a befitting send-off to the African icon as well as father and founder of Zambia, but a citizen and son of the soil of Malawi, Kenneth Kaunda. The last movie, it's a song, hashtag, name and shape. I want to clap hands to you Malawians who are on this campaign, who are shaming and naming them. The police are one of the people that are shamed. Don't relent, go ahead, keep on the hashtag, name and shape, because that's the only way we are going to defeat this dragon corruption. That's the only way we are going to save billions. Because Malawi is rich, but all the billions are going in the pocket of the dragon. That's why we are poor. And the people that are getting rich are few. In ending, all this that uh, a year that tons have been in government, there's one thing that I want to appeal to you. Remove the taxes from all the commodities, at least for a year. From now up to next year, June, remove the taxes from the basic and essential commodities so that the Malawians can breathe a bit. They are not breathing. They are tightened. If you don't listen, don't say, Bantu and Muva Chungam did not tell you. And I want to clarify a bit. When you tell someone the truth, that person loves you. But if you are just a bootlicker, who just everything is right, you are, you are helping the president and the government to fall. I am Bantu Sanders Duma. Let's meet on Friday. Have a great, great week. Thank you.